day mixed back. Today, I'm going to show you how to melt some barley. In here, I've got a 20 kilo bag of barley or barley seed. Got this at my animal feed store. Cost me around $12.50. Barley seed from Anfield is perfectly fine. It's just been marketed to for animals because most barley in the world, 90% of it, goes to animal feed. So nothing wrong with it and very cheaply. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to put my barley in this tub here and I've drilled a few holes. So when I fill it up, all right, I'll go in there and I'll fill it up barley in there and when I want to do my air rest I'll let the water drain and sit up there. Okay I just put half a bag in of barley of it's about 10 kilos hopefully or 9 kilos that'll give me a bit of play with the malt the different malts I want to make um, the base malt and a few crystal malts. I haven't really decided what I'm going to make it with it. Okay, there's my grain. I'm just adding the water now. Okay guys, I just finished filling up the tub of water. The grains are soaking. You can see some grains here floating. We don't want those. Those are bad grains. The good ones all sink to the bottom. So I'll grab my little and remove these. Put them back in. Right. Got to move all this. We don't want that in your bit. And you molted. It won't molt, so there's no point having it. Okay, I let. Oh, go. Okay, finished. Um, clean all the bad grains away. Time to let it sit for two hours and drain the water after that lid on so it keeps the bugs out. See in two hours. Alright. Okay it's been a couple of hours, it's been a bit, just a little over 24 hours since I've submerged these grains, pulled them out and submerged them again. Just started cheating. So I've got a, a piece of grain that has to if you can't see that little white dot there, that's where it's cheating. That's where the rootlet will come in, start coming out. And then where that rootlet is coming out, the other end of it, of it, the acrospire will grow from the other end of the cheating inside the grain. I'll show that a bit more once these grains are germinating a bit more. Most of these have started tuning. I might just give one little dunk for an hour or so, just get it to make sure it's all wet. Or just spray them with a hose. Alright, I'll come back in a few days' time. Alright, it's been a few days since the last video. I've just checked on my grains, and most of it's really fully malted. Look at this one, this is probably over malted. Look, this one's over malted, it's got the shoot coming really coming now. Really we want the shoot just the tip of the grain. So that one's a far one. Okay, we just want most of the grains to be the tip of the grain. This grain is show, it shows up. You probably see that little bulge there. That's the, the acro spider um, at the tip of the grain. If I crack that one open. Okay. Here is a grain that's fully malted. Oops. You see. The acro spot out of there is fully the top, that's fully modified. I'll crack that open like that. There's the acro spider. 
and that's a fully malted grain. That means most of my grains are malted by looking at some of the bottom ones have malted, over malted. I don't know what it will be like. I hope it's doing it right. But most of them at that point of popping out. So there's all of those ones down there. Down there. Yeah, ready to dry these grains out. Okay, I've got my grains in all set. This should be ready for dry for 24 hours. Hope it all works out. And I will start toasting my grains. See you soon. Alright. It's been about 24 hours. My grains are totally dry out. All the rootlets are dry out. What I like to do is crunch these up, crunch the grains in my hands and I will loosen all the rootlets and I will shake this tray and all the rootlets will fall down out of it. That's called dressing the grain. You don't want the rootlets in your final product. You don't want the rootlets in, in your mash because it's cause too much protein and it will make you get some interesting flavours apparently so we won't do that time for a recap okay barley from the animal feed shop is perfectly fine go there see how much it costs I cost a 20, co 20 kilo bag cost me $12.50 Pretty, that's pretty cheap. Uh, what else? When you um, when you soak in your grains for the for the chicken for the food, do not, do not reuse the water. Just some of those people might think, oh, I reuse the water. Do not, because that is full of bacteria after single use. Always use fresh water. Keep your temperature down low, not low low, uh, but between ten and 20 degrees so you don't get a bacterial effect infection keep those grains more um, aerated as well and keep them um, damp with water so they don't dry out completely also that's from the germination now a drying out a lot of people have done a lot of things with drying out like I just built a box and put a heater on it. A lot of people um, actually got a pillowcase, a zip up pillowcase, and put the grain and actually put it in the dryer. And you actually can use your oven, set on a low setting, about 50, de 50 degrees if you can, or the lowest setting you can, and that can dry out. And yeah, um, the, but the toasting video is coming up. Uh, that is, I'm gonna make some. I'm experimenting with my, bolts, um, my base malt because I haven't got the flavour flavour for it yet. Um, but all the other specialty grains like your amber malt, your crystal malt, um, it's pretty spot on. So I'm really experimenting on the pale malt, like the pilsen malt, um, pale, um, pale ale malt, and a few other ones I want to do. Here's my last all grain home malted beer. This is um, a Scottish ale. Um, I'm happy and also a little bit disappointed because the base malt flavour hasn't came in yet. That base malt was killed at 9 degrees, 9 degrees C and one hour and thirty minutes, so I have to probably extend that more to get more of that, a biscuit leaf flavour to it as a traditional pal almond. And yeah, I'm gonna keep on doing this. I enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Cheers.